This is a serious beatdown. That's a win. Okay, we moved into the lead.
Hey guys, I'm Clint Flair Wu, and welcome back to another Division Build video. And today, and over the weekend, I've spent some time in Skirmish, and I have put out this fantastic build, which as you can see, it's Nomad, and this has given me so much joy and success uh, in PvP. This is only for Skirmish and Last Stand, unless you have only five pieces of Nomad. If you have a full six piece set and you're running solo, then make sure you use that build in the Dark Zone. But if you're going to compete in Skirmish and Last Stand, give this build a try. It absolutely wrecks. Let's take a look. Okay, folks, this is my five piece Nomad with a Barrett's chest piece. I'm running 7.5 firearms, 5.4 stamina, and 2.9 electronics. The five power is about 4.44, and toughness 4.50, skill power 97, and that's because of the 10% bonus from Barrett's chest piece. Now, let's take a look at Nomad if you're not too sure what the bonuses offer for the gear set. Set bonus 2 is 15% health on kill. Set bonus 3 is Nomad's Resolve. It grants a constant small amount of healing, allowing the user to regenerate all segments of the health bar during combat. Set bonus 4, Path of the Nomad. When receiving fatal damage, you are instead healed to full health. Can occur once every 4 minutes. And set bonus 5, it is an extra 10% health on kill, so that's 25% in total. And the talent Improved Nomad's Resolve increases the amount of healing from Nomad's Resolve and will now overheal, which is really good. You get that extra 50% uh, of health, which is really strong in PvP. The Barrett's Chest Piece, what does that do for the build? Okay, the talent on the on the bulletproof chest piece is no skills on cooldown increases skill power by 10% as reflected in the skill power number now. Uh, one skill on cooldown increases damage by 5% and two skills on cooldown increases your armor by 10%. So, the way I look at this build, uh, it, it is a run and gun, in your face, face tanking build. As we're nearing the end of the, of the division, this is a, a joyful build for those who like to face tank because you will win a lot of battles with this build. Now, once you pop booster shot, go into battle, you will, you will get the damage by 5% increase because if you have one skill on cooldown, which is really strong, you've got 7.5k firearms, you will wreck it's as simple as that and this is a really tasty build for PvP I wouldn't necessarily use this in PvE there's no there's a lot more beneficial uh, builds to use out there for example strike or alpha bridge or even Lone Star tactician you know you've got plenty of options to add to roll in PvE but this is for skirmish last stand if you want to go and compete and absolutely wreck this is what I would recommend this is really really good so how have I got this gear set out let's take a look the bulletproof chest piece, the major attributes are health, enemy, armor, damage, just to squeeze a bit of a bit more damage from the build. Even though it's a mini school, it still adds up. Ammo capacity, and the two mods are both firearms health. Onto the Nomad Mask, it is firearms with critical chance and burn resistance, which is the go-to talent, in my opinion, as the miner. And firearms health as the mod. Onto the knee pads, it roll into stamina with critical hit damage, bleed resistance, blind death resistance, a disorient resistance, and the mods are stamina, critical hit chance, and first aid, self heal mod. Now the knee pads, I usually roll with health as the major because it does have a greater stat value and will bump up your toughness to around about 470, 472. However, I've gone for critical hit damage because I want to incur as much damage against my enemies, and to do that, an extra 9% does go a long way. It's, it's very helpful with the build. Onto the holster, it is critical chance as the major attribute. And in terms of the mod, it is first aid self heal mod. And the gloves, and these are the best way to roll gloves, firearms, critical chance, SMG damage and critical hit damage. And finally, the backpack is a nomad backpack with Firearms, critical hit damage, and bleed resistance. Exactly what I want on the build. And the mods are firearms, critical hit chance, and two first aid self heal mods. Now we go to the weapon of choice. The weapon is the house. 
22.1k base damage, 23% critical chance, it's fully optimized, and the talents to run with are deadly and responsive. Again, trying to get as much critical damage on the build as possible, and as much critic chance on the build as possible as well. Responsive is all about that damage in 10 meters. You're an SMG user, so this is a go-to talent. If you're looking at different talents to utilize, I would maybe substitute Deadly for Unforgiving, just for that sheer out raw, raw damage. And Carl Counter as the baked in talent into the house. In terms of attachments on the weapon, um, Crystal Chance Rate of Fire on the magazine. And the small optics, we're looking critic damage, headshot damage, critical chance on the muzzle is critic damage, critic chance, headshot damage, and increased threat. Underbarrel is critic damage, accuracy, and reload speed. My secondary is also a house. Now, the reason I've gone for the house is again, if I run out of ammo in my primary, switch to this, um, which is quite handy because it has two very good talents that synergize very well. They are deadly, again, increase that increased critical damage and hurried, so I can continue to use this weapon and have that really good, fantastic reload speed. Hurried is an underused talent, in my opinion, and it's a sleeper talent, so definitely something I would consider. If you have a house and you think, ah, it's not obviously very well, Hurried is a really good talent to use, so make sure you have that in mind. Card counters the baked-in talent, and in terms of uh, attachments onto the, the house, you're looking critic chance rate of fire. On the optics, critic damage, stability, ac accuracy. The muzzle, critic damage, crit chance and accuracy. And finally the underbarrel, critic damage, stability and accuracy. Now if we go for the character sheet very quickly, this is my primary house. It has a critic chance of 48%, critic damage of 129%. Now, someone will say along the way, why am I not using Savage if I'm using the five piece in Skirmish Last Stand? Because the six piece is really redundant in my opinion. Why would you use the five piece with, Ban with obviously the Barrett's chest piece instead of a Savage? Savage, which gives you 7% uh, critical chance, which is good, which is handy, it's really good. So that will give me 55%. Now, what Barrett's does offer me that offers me that extra little bit of skill power, which is, yeah, it's, it's okay. But I'm all about the weapon damage and I want the extra 5% damage. And plus, if I use both my skills, which does happen, there is no skill haste on the build, I will have an extra 10% armor. And I'll have that for around about 20 25 seconds. That will increase my toughness furthermore by about 20 25,000 to make you a little bit tankier. So it helps, it does help really well. And plus, there's a talent called Precision, which I use on most of my SMG builds, that will give me 12.5% critical chance and 25% critical damage per headshot for 10 seconds. So the key to this is, pop the headshot, I will get that 12.5%, that will, that will rise it from 48% to 60%, and 129% to 154%, which means you are going to wreck. So Savage for me, is not utilized very well on this build. Don't get me wrong, it works well. However, I feel that the Barrett's bulletproof chest piece offers more value on the build. Health on kill, 25%. That's really good. If you if you face tanking someone, your health bar goes really down to the last last 10, 15%. Drop a player, get the final butt, you will get that health kick in at 25%, which is really good, really handy to have. No skill haste whatsoever on the build. That's my survivability. And bleed resistance, which does help immensely, and that's 50% against any pred builds. Unfortunately, no EDR, but I've got a bit of bleed resistance, which is decent. Blind death, 33%. Burn resistance, 17%. Uh, disorient, 33%. Now, if we look at the abilities, I'm running with booster shot, and that's all about the damage, all about that, that DPS output. Um, and that will give me that extra 7.5% DPS, which is nice. Um, and I've baked into first aid self heal as well to get a bit of extra uh, toughness. But in all honesty, I don't really need it for that unless I'm in that last bit of health segment where again I can pop that booster shot to give me that little extra bit of bit of healing, bit of health, and then gives me that extra DPS as well to try and take players down. Booster shot, as for a boost shot, there's his support station. Um, again, it's key, this is a no-brainer in PvP, Skirmish Last Stand. As I've said many, many times, you will always come up against Pred, and this does counter that really effectively. So make sure you have a support station to remove any of that bleed. 
And the talents I've opted for, Adrenaline, again if you don't have a support station you pop your medkit that will give you 7 seconds of immunity which is very very tasty and handy in Skirmish and Last Stand. You have Critical Save, again to get that damage resistance. Combat Medic to make sure your teammates are healed when you pop a medkit which is really good. And finally as discussed, Precision to make sure you have an extra damage output by popping a headshot. It really, really does work and it's exceptionally effective in any format of the game. So precision is your go-to talent to use. Okay guys, this is my Nomad 5 piece with a Barrett's bulletproof chest. Um, I think it works wonders in PvP, skirmish last stand. However, if you want to use this in the dark zone, switch out your chest piece, get another Nomad piece on there to get the benefit of using the six piece, which is super strong in the dark zone. So don't use six piece um, in skirmish last stand. Use the Barrett's bulletproof chest. It works really, really well. There are other alternatives as well, which I'll go through at a later date, but today, Barrett's Bulletproof Chest is the go-to one for me. Guys, if you've enjoyed the video, drop a like. If you want to see more Division content, you know what to do. Press the sub button, and make sure you hit the bell for notifications, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.